Alright y'all, what's going on? I'm back with another video. So today I figured I'd share, with, uh, share something with you all that I picked up on sale a few weeks ago and I'm um, just getting around to make a video for it. But in my opinion, it's one of my favorite shoes to uh, kind of restock or release over the last few years. And um, I just wanted to bring it to the channel for you all. Before we get into it, man, do me a favor by dropping a like on the video and subscribing. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you get notified when I drop new videos. Okay, that shoe is the Nike Air Hirachi in the Hyper Grape colorway. So, of course, you got your kind of OG box here. Um, you know, I really like this box. You've got the, you know, details around the actual bottom there. So nice box, um, there's a size tag information. Picked it up at a US mid size 10 and we'll talk about sizing and all that stuff later. Um, when you open the box, you do have like, you know, some special paper here. It's got all the old like, you know, Nike um, Hirachi logos and stuff like that. So just wanted to call that out so you guys could see that there. <clears throat> okay. All right, so that's that. And here we have it, y'all. The Nike Air Hirachi in the Hyper Grape colorway. Do me a favor, let me know what y'all think about these in the comments down below. Um, how you feel about this colorway, the Hirachi. Have you even picked one of these OG, you know, renditions up? Because in my opinion, they are super comfortable. If you haven't, try them out, man. Trust me when I tell y'all, they are super comfortable. Now, um, like I said, I do believe this is an OG colorway. Now, this is, like I said, the Hyper Grape colorway. And over the last couple years, Nike has been bringing back a lot of these OG Hirachi models. And I'm so glad because I'll be 100% honest with y'all, I never owned any Hirachis growing up. And back, I remember like in the early 2000s, early mid 2000s, a lot of, a few of my friends actually had Hirachis were really into them, but I just never really liked them because I couldn't get with this whole back area right here. But now though, I really, really like the Hirachi. And I don't, I'll say this, it's like they've added, you know, better materials on the shoe. And I don't know if they've changed the midsole, but it's really soft there as well. So I just wanted to call that out. Now, <clears throat> I did pick these up right around the time mm, that the uh, Jordan 2 Chicago's dropped. Yeah, it was right around that time because I remember the, they were running like a 20% off sale on Nike. And I got these for around maybe $50 or $60 which is a great deal. I think they retail for right around 120 or so, something like that. But either way, major discount, man. And I love finding really good shoes like this, you know, for a good price. So I had to go ahead and grab them. So we're gonna go ahead and jump right into the review right now. So starting with the midsole there, you got that nice, you know, white midsole here. And like I mentioned, I don't know if they've changed it here, but whatever they've done, the comfort, it's a really soft midsole. And when you put this shoe on foot, I'm telling you, man, it feels very, very good on feet. So if you haven't tried them out, trust me, get you a pair because they're very nice. Um, now let's take a look at um, some of the other materials I want to call out here. You've got this white leather. It almost looks like a kind of off-white beige color right here as well as around the toe area. And it is a super soft leather. I'm telling you, whatever they've done to it, like it is a very nice leather material. I just want to go ahead and let you guys know that. <clears throat> and around the back of the shoe, you've got, of course, this kind of black rubberized piece that runs along the side, but you can also see the hints of like that hyper great, man. The purple is just super fire on this shoe. I just think it's really, really nice colorway. Um, but yeah, now let's take a look at the toe box. Another area of the shoe that makes it super comfortable is the material used here on the toe. So you've got that very soft leather around the toe there. And on the top here, you've got this material that feels really good on the top of your toes. And moving up from there, you've got the kind of black, you know, neoprene like tongue or like sock like construction there with flat white laces. And I also like this kind of like old school Nike Air Hirachi logo that is actually stitched on top here. So pretty nice stuff here, man. Really love the OG details on this Hirachi. Um, moving around to the medial side of the shoe, y'all. Here's another look at it. Classic, classic shoe, man. And like this colorway in particular was sitting on the Nike. It might still be there. I mean, like, just go check it out. I don't think they're running the 20% off sale anymore. So when I saw it at that price, I had to grab it. But <clears throat> there's a look at it there. 
I just like this color purple on pretty much any shoe, man. It's just super fire. Now, let's take a look at the heel, which is probably the more popular, you know, or like kind of wild looking things or design, you know, aspects of this shoe. On the back there, you can see you got air techs on the sole of the heel here. Moving up, you've got that kind of rubberized piece here. You can see you got the hyper grape there as well. And you've got that black piece that kind of turns into kind of purple area right here and has Nike text on it as well. All right. Now let's take a look at the outsole. Standard, you know, Hirachi outsole here. Kind of got that waffle pattern there in black. And you can see you got the white Nike Air branding there in the middle. So standard Nike Air Hirachi outsole. Okay. Now let's see here. On the insole here, you've got a white insole with the hyper grape or purple Nike Air branding on the inside. Hopefully you guys can see that there. Okay, now that will be about all guys for the Nike Air Hirachi in the hyper grape colorway. Now before we, you know, before I end the video and all that stuff, I'd like to give my final thoughts on the shoe and everything. We're going to talk about sizing right now. So, <clears throat> um, I picked this up. And a U.S. men's size 10. Now, my true to size, I consider myself a true nine. So I went a full size up in this shoe. And when I tell you it is necessary, trust me. Trust me when I tell you. Do not get your true size. Uh, I, I thought when I used to watch videos of this shoe, I thought it might be like, okay, maybe not. No, I would say at a full size up, this fits about like a nine or nine and a half. And I'm not exaggerating. It is a very sm small fitting shoe. And I think it's because... See how it kind of pushes your foot forward. It looks kind of, it's, it's at an angle back here, this heel, as well as you've got this kind of sock-like construction and all this stuff. But at a full size up, it does not fit too big and it feels great on feet, y'all. It's literally one of the shoes that I bought over the last few years. Aside from like, you know, everyone talks about, you know, Yeezy 350s and the boost and all that type of stuff. Aside from that, I would argue that this shoe, comfort-wise, is right up there with those. And I know this is an older, you know, shoe, older tech and all that. But when I say comfort is there overall, the materials on your foot, the leather use, the sole, all of that, it is there, man. And at that price point, you know, a lot of these Hirachis are going on sale. Um, so you really, you really can't beat it. But I just wanted to go ahead and call that out and let you guys know. So don't forget, if you want to pick these up, man, got to go full size up. Now, let me just double check the Nike app. While we're here, because I guarantee they're probably still up here. I get the feeling that they are. Yep, right now they're going for $69.95. And they have, they're sold out of five through six. And they have, and they're sold out from 12 and a half through 15. So they've got a pretty good size run. Like I said, they did retail for actual 125. I think I said 120 earlier, but same thing. They retail for 125 and right now they're going for $69.95. That is about all, guys. Um, Nike Air Hirachi, in my opinion, it is a must pick up. Like, it's a super comfortable colorway with shoe and a very, very nice colorway. The leather on it's nice. The material on the toe. You've got the OG box, OG colorway. You cannot go wrong with it, man. It's one of those shoes that, like, in my opinion, it's a good, you know, value as far as, like, you know, the price point and, like, the ability to wear the shoe a lot. It's a very comfortable shoe. You can wear this pretty much any time. So I would pick it up. Highly recommend the Nike Hirachi, man. Especially this purple colorway is super clean. Y'all do me a favor, man. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell. All those good things. Thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next video.